what's up guys welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine this is my everyday makeup and today i'm going to show you guys the products i use how i use them and all of that if you guys are interested in any of the contact lenses i'll put the name of the contact lenses that i'm wearing right now down below and as well as the rest of them my code 510 don't forget but yeah so make sure y'all go get contact lenses and use my code i think two another one is blue one is green and one is pink so I'll catch you guys when I'm back with my blue eyes. That was actually a lot easier than I expected, not gonna lie. Um, it's because when I used to put on eye contact, it used to take me forever. But this time, I just looked straight the whole time. And it worked, like, the first time. So, pretty good. They're pretty comfortable. Uh, no pore blend primer. Um, I got it in my Ipsy bag, so I'm not sure where you can find it, but there's that. I'm pretty sure you can get an Ulta or Sephora. So I'm just gonna use the L Putty Primer, and it's not cute with my nails, so I just get this foundation. I think I said this in my video before, but I'm just priming my face with that just to smooth it all out. Especially now, since I actually have acne. I wasn't gonna wear makeup today, but I wanted to film a video for you guys, and you guys were asking for an everyday makeup routine. So, I thought... Today will be a good day to do it because I have to go out today. I'm gonna go shopping. Um, I, need, I wanna get some shoes. I wanna get like some Nikes. I wanna get some like Air Max 97s or something. Um, and I wanna get clothes because I feel like I have none. Even though I do have a lot, but I just like don't like wearing my things over and over. As you all may know, I start with my eyebrows. That's what I always do. I got them done and they trim them for me so that my eyebrows actually look presentable and not like a mess. But my eyebrows are growing back already has been a week just because my eyebrows grow back so fast which is a bittersweet thing because when i over my eyebrows it didn't take that long for my eyebrows to come back but when i tell you my eyebrows were paper thin they were paper thin i literally plugged them so they couldn't be plugged anymore it's crazy like it was like less than half of my eyebrow right now it was so horrible i'll see if i can find a picture but it's kind of embarrassing this was i think six no this was like seventh or maybe it might have been beginning of 8th. It was like 7th, beginning of 8th grade year. It was not even that long ago. So, super embarrassing. And I'm just using the Milani Dip Brow. And um, a brow tutorial, I don't really think is necessary. Because I do my eyebrows like every other person. Um, you can literally watch any other eyebrow tutorial. And they will literally do the same thing I'm doing. Because I learned from them. Okay, my eyebrow looks a little crazy right now, but it's because I haven't concealed it yet. But yeah, I'm just using the Milani Dip Brow in dark brown with the Milani brush. Because I, I have eyebrow brushes, but I personally think that this one's the best. Because it's like, like, the width is long enough, but not too short. And then it's really thin, so it's good for precise lines. And it's really little too, so it's like really easy to deal with. Um... So I 10 out of 10 recommend the Milani Dip Brow because it comes with the brush and it's only $8. The concealer that I use for my eyebrows is different from the concealer that I use for other things. But I'm going to use this um, Master Concealer. I've been using this for so long. I've been through like two tubes already. Um, I really like this concealer because it's not super cool coverage. It's super creamy. Personally, I don't ever put this on my face. I've never tried it on my face. But I'm pretty sure it would work too if you just wanted to buy one. And I'm pretty sure it's like $8. But it lasts you a really long time. To conceal my eyebrows, I use a brush like this. It's like super dirty. So like don't even mind the fact that it's super dirty. But it's just like a little circle brush. And I got this from Target. It's like the Sonia Kashuk brand. You could honestly use whatever brush you want to conceal. But this personally is my favorite brush to conceal with. Like this shape and everything. Just works so perfect for me. Um... I used to use like a flat brush, but honestly, ever since I saw like ever since I started using this brush, I do not ever want to use a flat brush again. So I start by underlining the bottom just like that, cleaning that up, and now I'm gonna do the other side. I do this. I'm just gonna go flat at the top and just the top is concealer brush. It just looks like this, and I am going to rub that in. I also use the um, the e.l.f. concealer brush. I really love that brush, but it's kind of dirty right now, so it's not really working as its finest. So I need to clean that brush. 
But anyway, so to set my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Billion Dollar Brows Brow Gel that I got in my Ipsy Baddie, like a little set. Um, eyebrow gel doesn't really matter what kind of eyebrow gel you use. You can use the Elf one, you could use any one that you want. I usually use NYX Control Freak, but I just got this one, so I'm starting to use this one. Um, I usually, every day I wear falsies and I know you're probably like, girl, you do the most, but yes, I do the most. Trust me, I know, but it's just so much easier to put on false lashes and I like the look of it so much more. And like, I usually put on heavy coats of mascara and it ends up ripping out my lashes and these never wrap my lashes. Um, I want to get eyelash extensions really bad, but I'm going to use the Yolore lashes. I always use these. They're super affordable. They're pretty fast coming in the mail. They always have like codes or whatever. And these ones are just in the style La Cubana. And they're really nice. They're really pretty, really wispy. I really like them. Um, so basically how I put on my lashes is, first of all, these are new lashes. I just ordered on like a, I went for a second round. I went for a second round and ordered like, I think six more lashes or something like that. So these are new. So I'm just gonna make sure they fit my eye good before I do anything. But the only thing with these lashes is that when they come, they come with a little bit of extra on the sides, like the little thing, so that will poke, that will literally bug your inner corner so bad. I'm not really complaining about it, you just snap it off and it's good. But I'm just letting y'all know, make sure that even if you don't need to trim your lashes, if it fits, make sure you trim the little edges because that will poke you and it will ruin your whole day. I just get my eyelash glue. I use the, this is super, super dirty, but I use the Kish Strip Lash Adhesive Lash Glue. It's like $4 or $5 at Ulta. I dip it in and then I go around like this on the top so that it makes it thin because I use it as an eyeliner. And I put a strip, just like if, as if I was putting eyeliner of lash glue It really keeps your lashes on and when you're wearing lashes all day and you go through the struggles of life, you know, it's always good to have your eyelashes on 24-7. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to get my eyelashes and I'm going to put them on my tweezers and I'm going to put a thin, thin line. It's not really necessary, but I just do it for extra. I put a thin, thin line of glue. So next, I just get any mascara. I'm just gonna be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara because I don't really like this one for my normal lashes. So I just use the eyelash, like a mascara that I don't really like that much. And I'm just gonna put it on my eyelashes after so that my eyelashes blend in with each other so that you can't really like see the difference. And now I usually start my face makeup and then when I'm baking under my eyes, that is when I put my eyelashes on. So I just wait for my mascara to dry and wait for my eyelash to, to be done. Basically, I just use this Real Techniques Beauty Blender. It's the pink one, it's like a holiday one that I got. Um, it came in a little ornament. So basically, I'm so I'm just gonna get my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light neutral. And me and this Tarte Shape Tape have been rocking for a while. I just do it like my eyes i've been getting really bad like, i haven't really been sleeping as much as i probably should um so my eye bags have been really bad so i just put a little bit and it's super super full coverage so a little bit goes a long way i already know so i just put that a little bit under my eyes i don't do this all the time though this is just like sometime usually when i cake my face or like when i'm like going out somewhere then i'll do this but for school, usually I don't, but I'm just gonna do it today just to give you guys a full experience. So I just put these little barrettes in my hair to keep my hair out of my face while I'm doing my makeup because I don't wanna wear my headband or my headbands today. But anyway, I went my beauty blender and I'm back. So I'm just gonna blah, pat that in really nicely. Then for my foundation, I used to really like, I used to live by the Fit Me one, but now I didn't really like how that was making my skin look. So now I use a Milani, this is super dirty. I don't know why I got this dirty, but I use a Milani Concealer Perfect 2 one Foundation and Concealer in 01 Creamy Vanilla. And a little goes a long way. So I just put like three squirts 
and then i go like this and i kind of like put it on places that i didn't put any and then i blend it out and it literally a little goes a long way so like don't put a lot or else you will look cake face it's just like a super it's like a light coverage foundation you could still see like little blemishes if you have them um but they like it's not like super super full coverage which i really like because i don't want super full coverage it's just like a little like to even out your skin color it's definitely buildable so if you did want a full coverage foundation you could do that um but personally me i don't really want a full coverage foundation it gives you like a really like natural glow and i'm going to get a little 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 real techniques beauty blender it's the same color it's just a little one and i'm gonna go in and i'm just gonna set under my eyes so that my concealer does not crease on me and then with some i'm just gonna pat it on my nose because you already know how nose makeup goes it never stays on i'm going to get this brush from f-a-r-a-h i don't know where it's from but it's a really expensive brush i got it on my ipsy bag though so i did not pay for it well i did pay for it but not full price i'm gonna dust that off my nose either you just use the loose powder and put it all over my face or i use the maybelline fit me press powder this is in 120 classic ivory and i just use this just to set my whole face and it smooths out your face really good too so it's like a two-in-one so once that's all on um i'm gonna put my eyelashes on now since they've been drying for like three years hold on i don't even know which one goes on what eye so i'm gonna put my eyelashes on i start by putting it in the middle wow these are super pretty then i'm just gonna press them in my inner corner and press them in my outer corner I don't like to squeeze my lashes just yet until I make sure my eyelashes are like the glue's dry dried on there. So I usually do at the end. So those are the eyelashes I'm using today. Super, super pretty. Bronzer, you guys remember I used to swear by the, the Fenty in the sun bronzer, but it's just super light for me. And I personally just don't like that look unless I'm going for like a more natural look, I guess. But I've been really enjoying the butter bronzer. I used to use this bronzer before I got the Fenty one but then i went back to it and it's super super good and i don't know why i stopped using it is this press and set or bronzer complex culture brushes it's also from my ipsy bag a lot of my things are from my ipsy bag um as you can see <clears throat> i get a lot of use out of these products and it's really good because sometimes i don't like know what to try or whatever yes i love bronzers somebody came for me and my um get ready with me and i like the amount of bronzer she puts and I know I love bronzer. It's become one of my favorite steps. Like I used to like not really care about it. And I used to just like, yeah, I just not really care about it. But I love the look of bronzer and highlight just on like smooth skin. It looks so pretty. And now my favorite part, one of my favorite parts is my highlighter. So I'm going to use this um, my Anastasia Glow Kit, of course, with my Jeffree Star X Morphe JS4 brush. It's a little highlighting brush. And I'm going to get Summer. I'm going to put that on my cheeks and then on my forehead. I use my little highlighter from my Jaclyn Hill palette or my, my highlighter from my um, James Charles palette. For accent highlighting, I'm just using this little like pencil brush. And I'm going to use this, the second color right here. And that goes in on my brow bow. my nose last but not least it goes in my inner corner so now i'm going to use my pixie makeup so last but not least i'm going to set my, my face again with the tarte stay spray setting spray and you already know lip gloss it doesn't really matter what lip gloss i'm just going to use a fancy day lip gloss and fussy um because it's the one that's right here with me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that I helped you find some products and I hope that I helped y'all out a little bit on my everyday makeup routine. Make sure to comment down below what you want to see next. I'm sorry I haven't been posting that much. I just haven't been that motivated and I've been, you know, caught up in my own things. I've been caught up with life so I haven't been posting but I promise I'll be back on it soon. But anyways, I love you guys. I miss you guys and I hope you guys have an amazing day.